Good morning, YouTube. All right, one of the best things about summer is peaches, and one of the best things about peaches is cobbler. I'm about to show you how to make a super simple, but uh, delectable, delicious, and perfectly sweet peach cobbler. You're gonna like this one. All right, let's cook, y'all. We got a family to feed. All right, we are on our way to making peach cobbler. <laughs> and of course, Ricky just pulled in. <laughs> All right, so here I've got a little cast iron skillet and I've got six tablespoons of butter. And my oven, that was loud. My oven is preheating to 350 degrees. I'm gonna throw that in there just until that butter melts. I don't need it to get hot, just melty. All right, now here I have fresh peaches. I have about five. Mine are almost too ripe. But I peeled them, cut them into eighths, and I'm going to heat them only long enough, looking for a pinch of salt, only long enough to melt that sugar. That's it. All right, so I'm gonna get like half a teaspoon of salt. Boom, that's it. All right, so that's over medium low heat. Our butter is melting, our sugar is dissolving, and I am gonna grab the ingredients for the cobble part. Be right back. Maybe. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We cook this only just long enough to dissolve the sugar. Ricky, what are you doing? <laughs> Ricky's here. Um, now, right here, I have a cup of flour and a cup of sugar. And I'm gonna stir those together. We're gonna to throw a few other things in here. Hi, Bladen. Can you give me two seconds? Okay, Bladen doesn't feel well. He's talking to his doctor. All right, half a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder. I always forget which one I'm using. A teaspoon of cinnamon. And I am adding, this is three quarters of a cup of milk and a teaspoon of almond extract. You can skip the almond extract if you want to. <clears throat> but one thing about cobbler is it tends to be, um, if you're not real careful, it can be very one dimensional. Not a whole lot of complexity, it ends up just being sweet. So I cut the sugar, I know it's got a cup and a half in it total, but I don't care. I still cut the sugar in this recipe by a good bit. Three quarters of a cup of milk into the batter. Anyway, I cut the sugar a good bit because I want more of the peach flavor to come through. And I don't want it to taste like almond, um, but there is a beautiful affinity that peaches and almonds have. So we're taking advantage of that. All right, let's come back here. It's very warm, hot, or butter melted. Layton was asking me a little while ago, what is a cobbler? Well, it's any kind of dough. Nope, it's any kind of anything, actually. More typically fruit, but you can have savory cobblers. Um, was it Carol and Walking Dead? Breakfast cobbler. Mm -hmm. Who knew? I don't think I've ever done that. Um, anyway, put your batter over the top of your butter. Don't worry about it being perfect. We are going to spread it out. So it's any kind of flavored filling. Typically sweetened fruit. It was a way to give some variety because you know used to be the case that your produce came in all at once and so you'd have nothing but peaches for a few weeks and you'd come up with whatever you could come up with to use it up anyway cobbles this batter and you'll see this in about 45 minutes when I pull this out of the oven this batter that we put in here kind of upside down will actually bake up and around and over the top of our fruit here see that creates the cobbles the cobbles are just like bits and pieces of dough and I've also seen people do this with sweetened fruit and then they drop like a biscuit type topping on the on the top and there's all kinds of debate over whether or not you have a cobbler or a slump or a grunt or whatever all kinds of produce baked with some sort of bread type quick bread thing baked in the oven okay here we go all right, 350 degrees, we're going in here for 45 minutes. All right, here we go. <laughs> it always feels like a magic trick. 
that is perfect. Okay, so we're not, you don't have to let it cool all the way down because I have to say there's nothing quite as beautiful as, as warm cobbler, but we're gonna let it cool down some and we're gonna pull the ice cream out. Ricky, that's a little loud. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go after ice cream and I'll meet you back here in a minute. And let it cool down, <laughs> but you don't have to. <laughs> it is roughly the same temperature as lava, though, so be careful. All right, that is perfect. Peach cobbler, and yes, I have ice cream over here. Oh, I also used white peaches and regular peaches. That's why there's two different colors. Use what you have. I just happen to have that. Mm. That's what summer tastes like. <laughs> 